Yo, what's up, everyone? My name's Dave, and you suck at programming. And today, we're going to talk about extended globbing in Bash. All right, in my last episode, we talked about the glob basics. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. You'll learn something there. If you want more extended features, these are little bonus features with globbing, stay tuned, all right? We're going to talk about EXT glob. Now, the first thing to do is check to see if you have it enabled on your shell. So you can run shopped. This is your shell options. And we can put EXT glob. And as you can see, I have it enabled. But if I didn't, you could run shopped-s extended glob. And there you go. That will turn it on. So if you previously had it off, now you have it on. And you are good to go. You have extended globbing. So what does that do? Well, let's take a look. Let's see what we have here. So we have a folder called files. We can ls it. We're going to do ls minus one on files. This will separate them by new lines. And you can see that we have six files. foo.jpg, foo.txt, bar.jpg, bar.txt, baz.jpg, baz.txt. All right, cool. So what can we do? Well, with basic globbing, we can do star.txt and we'll match any of the text files, right? You've seen this before. There's nothing extended about that. But what can we do? We can negate this. So we could put this whole thing in parentheses and then we could put an exclamation mark in front of it. So you have bang and then your expression and we will get now the opposite of it. So we will get no text files. So if we had anything else besides text files, it will match this. We're gonna filter out text files effectively with this. We also can do some fun stuff here. So in parentheses, we can do a little bit of regex work, okay? So let's say we wanna match foo or bar dot text. Now we need to put the plus sign here. Used to the plus sign in regex usually comes after the expression, we put it at the beginning of it. There's a plus sign, a question mark, and an asterisk, just like in regex, we put it at the beginning of this parentheses, and there we go. So we matched foo.txt and we matched bar.txt. We filtered out bass.txt because we basically used regex here. So like I said before, you might be used to a question mark or a star, you could put it here. Um, this would match, you know, um, what is a question mark? Zero, one, one or many, and then zero or many. Um, so yeah, look up basic regex if you want to know how to do this. So there you go. There's some basic extended globbing in Bash 